morning everyone uh, today i'm going to speak on uh, skin brightening regimes uh, particularly retinol uh, the reason i'm making this video is because nowadays a lot of these products are actually available online uh, which has made it more easier for people to get these products even if it's not available in their particular town or city uh, in a way it's good that the products are available to people more easily at their doorsteps but one should always know that what each particular product does and will it really benefit them or that particular product is going to cause more harm to them now, for example i've got patients who come to me for different other treatments but uh, on talking to them then they say they bought retinol 0.1% from nyka uh, other day uh, one more patient she told me that she got um, niacinamide for her pigmentation now you should all remember that while these products are easily available but you should know what each product does uh, for today i'm going to speak about retinol because retinol people know as retinol but what is important to know is the particular compound of retinol that's in the particular product and what percentage is there in about with the retinol so whether it is uh, 0.1% retinol 0.5% you know or 1% or even 2.5% in diluted form so each percentage each concentration of retinol has its own indications and advantages and disadvantages for example if you look at retinol now this is zero skin retinol brightener 1% now where will i give 1% uh 1% retinol is good where you have mild to moderate pigmentation and skin damage so this is a much more stronger form of retinol which will give you active exfoliation of your skin so once you start applying this uh, probably for about 20 days or 30 days your skin will be really red and irritated till it starts balancing out so 1% retinol is good for people with moderate moderate to severe uh, skin damage and uh, uh, pigmentation then you've got this 0.5% retinol now 0.5% retinol is actually quite mild it's actually not very strong so this is good for people who've got mild pigmentations or mild skin damage it will not give you uh, irritated visibly irritated skin in the beginning of your treatment so it's like if your skin has mild to moderate pigmentation or mild to moderate sun damage then 0.5% retinol is a good product to use if your skin has moderate to severe skin damage and it really needs resurfacing to improve the texture of the skin then 1% retinol will be more useful uh, another product when you're using this is important to use is because you're exfoliating your skin you should also give your skin more nutrients so that you know it heals better as the skin forms because this product is basically removing your old skin and the new skin has to form so for that generally i give uh, you can give daily power defense so daily power defense helps your skin to renew better um, you can also give uh, vitamin c scrub now the reason to give vitamin c also because this also reduces pigmentation and it helps to increase the uh, skin cycle turnover now what about people who actually got good skin without any some form of uh, skin problems or pigmentation who have good skin who have good skin texture and they really want to maintain their skin in that case in especially in younger age i will not suggest the retinols retinols is complete no no for them what i would probably suggest to them is creams like uh, non retinol based like brighter life or you've got this complexion aid it now this is the one which i am i am using as i'm resurfacing my skin so this is a bit bit harsher but it will help you resurfacing but these two like cream that uh, nutriderm brightening or brighter light but these are for people who got good skin and they want to maintain their skin sunscreen is also very important but these two will i will advise to them so people with good skin who want to maintain retinol i will say in younger age no probably when you're in your 40s i would say you can shift to retinol or you can add retinol but till then i would say a good skin just maintenance this one good sunscreen is more than enough mild changes probably i will shift to maybe complexion edit or um, 0.5% uh, retinol in those cases and add daily power difference for them and uh, so this is it 
So you should know what you're buying when you buy online or if you're not sure, you can always connect with a doctor who can actually guide you what is good for your skin. Thank you.